let's take a look at the Geminid Meteor Shower. What it is, why it happens, and where you can see it. This is Zach DTV, the place for interesting news from around the net. And let's get right into this. The Geminid Showers, or the Gems, as Skygazers like to call it, because of how bright these meteors can be, happens as our planet passes through the debris trail left by 3200 Phaethion. That's a near-Earth asteroid which astronomers believe used to be a comet, but from years and years of coming so close to the sun has lost all of its ice and is left with nothing but chunky rocky matter. Another theory on this object is it could be an asteroid that collided with another object, and that's why it's leaving such a trail of debris. So comet or asteroid still makes for a great show. And astronomers believe that this year will be spectacular for viewing this event. The meteors produced by this three mile wide object have been getting better and better since they were first noticed in December of 1862. By the beginning of the 20th century, sky watchers were reporting 20 to 25 events per hour. And by the 70s, they were looking at around 80 per hour. Well, because of Jupiter pulling this debris trail closer into our orbit, we are expected to see this event up to 120 meteors per hour. That's two a minute. This is just amazing. Another reason we have such a spectacular view this year is that 3200 Phaethion is going to be falling right up on the shower. And it's going to be so close that with a small telescope, around a four inch or better, you can track this object's orbit from your own backyard. Another great thing about this shower is this is slow debris. It's entering our Earth's atmosphere around 7,900 miles per hour, compared to some that can hit our atmosphere at 162,000 miles per hour. These objects are also dense, so they burn longer. This long and slow burn allows for some great trails across our night sky. All right, let's move into the whens and the wheres. This meteor shower started around the 7th of December and will progressively get better until the night of Wednesday the 13th into Thursday morning. After that though, it is going to drop off sharply. So if you want to see this event, you'll want to be out there Wednesday night. In order to see this shower, you are going to want to find Gemini in the night sky. It's to the right of Orion's belt, which is a pretty noticeable feature in the sky. Just look over the right and you'll see the twin stars of Castor and Pollux. For a quick side note, Sky Maps is a great app for your phone that allows you to map out the sky just by pointing your phone at what stars you want to know the name. I use it myself and it gets you pretty close to what you want to see. Viewing times can start as early as right after dark where you may catch the occasional long tail asteroid skipping off our atmosphere. According to astronomers, they say it's going to peak around 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, but there is a bit of leeway either side of that. It's not really a precise measure. Now don't focus too tightly on Gemini, but keep your eyes pointed generally in the eastern sky and straight up to catch your best view of the most meteors possible. And who knows, you might even catch one of those great fireballs that can be produced by the shower. Keep in mind, it is December. So make sure to bundle up, carry some sleeping bags, heavy blankets, a thermos full of Irish coffee or maybe some hot cocoa, and some friends in a field so you can watch this spectacular display for yourself. On that note, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for stopping in. Make sure to share this video with your friends so they know when they can see this amazing astronomical event. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep bringing you more interesting news three days a week. With that being said, I hope you guys catch the best fireballs you can. And until next time, have fun and be safe.